Can't stand still cause the world will move without you. <laughs> What's up? This is Devon Trish with Team Motivation TV, and today we have a special guest. We have Idris Elba. Uh, you may know him from from TV shows such as The Wire um, or Luther. He's also been in in movies uh, such as This Christmas and Obsessed, um, along with a ton of other movies. So we're gonna talk with him today. Idris, thank you for stopping by Team Motivation TV, man. It's an honor. Uh, my first qu first question is, how did you get in get started with acting? Um, acting, you know, when I was in um, secondary school, you call it high school. Um, it was um, it was my favorite subject. You know what I mean? I used to I was good at everything, but drama was my favorite subject. You know, what I, mean? I just loved it. I used my imagination. You know, and I went to a boys' school, right? Oh, really? So <laughs> and we had a we had a drum teacher who was beautiful. So we all used to clamber in there to get into the to these uh these this class. But for me, man, it was just a real celebration of my imagination. I used to go in there and she used to say, Right, come up with a play. I used to write a play in ten minutes, cast wow. it, direct it. I was just good at it. And so, you know, when the time I, I left high school or secondary school, 16, 17, I just already made that decision and that's what I wanted to do. And um, I ain't looked back. Uh, I've been doing it since I was 17, 18. You know, my favorite actors are not afraid to reinvent themselves, you know? For example, Daniel Day-Lewis is, is an amazing actor. And the reason why is because I don't recognize him every time I see him in a role. I just don't recognize him. You know what I mean? And that to me is, in fact, any any sort of art form, you know what I mean, where, for example, you've seen Swiss Beats with his artwork, right? Mm -hmm. Yep, I have. You look at that guy and you go, wow, he made this banger, club banger, and at the same time he makes artwork. Mm -hmm. For me, the reinvention of that is what makes it dope, you know what I mean? Yeah, I feel you on that. Um, so tell me, what's some of the best advice that you've received since you've uh, been in the industry? Denzel told me one day, he said, listen, you're doing good work, he said, never read your own press. And I, I adopted that from Mr. Washington, yes sir, I salute you, no doubt, because it definitely kept my perspective real. Mm -hmm. No matter how big people say you are, you're only as big as who you really are, you know what I mean? And that was, that was real. Man, you have a lot of fans out there, there's a lot of people that love your work. Have you ever uh, experienced a, like a crazy fanatic uh, fan. I'm, I've not had any really, you know, what I mean, like right home, crazy experiences. But I mean, I've I've walked into a club where it was 800 people and about 500 of women from all ages. I'm talking from pretty young to like grandma age <laughs> and going nuts wow. mm -hmm. for me. And you know, when what's interesting is that I'm blessed to have that, but you see that, like literally, the visual of that is incredible. Like and. You know, I've seen, you know, pictures of Elvis, Michael, you know, all those guys going through that motion. You always go, wow, that's, yeah, crazy. that's crazy. Even Pac, you know, Pac, when he used to walk into places, people used to go bananas. But, you know what I mean, in recent times, you know, where, you know, Rhonda and I, we have this philosophy, like, New York and L.A. is it, you know what I mean? But there's all these other places in the country that don't get to see, you know what I mean, their favorite actors. Yeah, absolutely. So when do you feel like you created your identity as an actor, as an official actor. And once I got the wire, you know what I mean, it gave me an identity mm -hmm. as an actor. Um, and that, even that process was like a three year process, like three seasons deep before people go, whoa, who's that guy? So as an actor, do you feel it's important to recreate yourself uh, for different roles and different characters? So as an actor, you know what I mean, I want people to go, I don't know who he is. <laughs> I've always wanted to ask you this. How did you how did you end up on uh, Jay Z's intro to uh, American Gangster? Well, so we had just done the film American Gangster. He was like, you know, Jay doing this album, and we knew this early. We we're like, really? I said to him one day we were in LA, we we're driving in the pickup, and I'm like, I have to be on the album. He went, what? <laughs> what? He started laughing uncontrollably. He was like, what you gonna say? You gonna send Jay a 16? <laughs> <laughs> a mean 16. <laughs> I was like, I was like, um, 
<laughs> no, I'm not, I'm not gonna send Jay a 16. I just, you know, I have to be on that album. I'm in the film. I'm a Jay Z fan. It's gotta be some sort of uh, yeah. connection there. Yeah, so he was like, mm. so I said, cool, whatever. Booked the studio. I was working with this uh, producer called Chris Flame. And Chris and I, we went in, he built this beat. And I was like, hmm. We tweaked it, we did some stuff to it, and I was like, no, we need to do more than that. So then I just, really and truly, man, I just started to, uh, we, I wrote out what is a sonnet. Mm -hmm. oh, and it's basically just my thoughts. Okay. And, and it's really, if you, if you listen to the intro, there's a lot of things that, you know what I mean, I've had to go through my perspective and stuff, right? Mm -hmm. I wrote this sonnet out, and um, a homegirl of mine called Angel, She's a poet, she came through and she read it, she was like, this is dope, let's perform it together. So we did, over the beat, boom, boom, boom. Cut this together and I said, Rande, check this out. And he was like, what do you want me to do with it? I was like, what the <laughs> <laughs> was like, you sure? I was like, cool, so Lenny S got it. And it was that, you know, that moment where, you know, we're like this. We was waiting around like two days or some shit. Like, <laughs> nah, nah, yeah, it was like two weeks. Was it two weeks? Yeah, something like that. Yeah. Something crazy. Yeah. Yeah. All I remember that, I, three I just felt like, uh, <laughs> corny. <laughs> I'm working right here. So then Arande comes up with the L straight face. Yo, I was like, what? It's like, I got an email from Jay. I was like, what, what'd he say? <laughs> what did he say? And he said, you want me to read it? I was like, fuck it, just read it. Because he had the straight face. I was like, it's a diss. You know what I mean? He was like, but at least he hit back. He was like, Jay said, um, I don't like this. Love it. Dun, 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 dun. I was like, what? Give me the Blackberry. <laughs> Look to the Blackberry and boom, there it was, you know. Wow, that's, <laughs> that's crazy right there. And, and the rest is history. You know, made the album made the movie the movie was a great movie um do you have any any words of, of advice for any up-and-coming actors i know for myself i'm i'm pursuing acting as well so do you have any any words of advice that i can use you know when you put your mind to something you know amazing things can happen well there you have it you know i want to thank idris for stopping by team motivation tv um this is devon trish i'm your host as always we have uh you know tune in we have more guests coming up we have more events we have a lot of things uh that's trickling down the pipeline um before we go i just want to say go make sure y'all go check out idris elba's new movie it's called no good deed with uh taraji p henson i'm actually looking uh, to have her on the show uh within the next few weeks so and that movie comes out in uh september so make sure y'all go check that out stay tuned to team motivation tv until next week Peace. Can't stand still cause the world will move without you. Can't stand still cause the world will move without you.